This is what Leveling Up Secretary Michael Gove said in March 2018. Not only will there be no abandonment of the environmental principles that we've adopted in our time in the EU, but indeed we aim to strengthen environmental protection measures. It was, of course, complete bollocks. You guys have had some pause on the development here, thanks. The Prime Minister watering down regulations for those building homes near rivers in protected areas. Developers will no longer need to prove they can offset the pollution in waterways caused by their new homes to get the green light. As it stands, they're forced to invest in new wetlands and plant tree buffers to stop nutrients seeping into the water. That's right, the government now plans to rip up water pollution rules by amending the Leveling Up Bill to undo EU rules stopping house builders polluting sensitive areas. It was a disproportionate and poorly targeted old EU ruling that blocked these homes. Thankfully, we can now reverse that. It will essentially force planning officials to pretend sewage pollution from new developments doesn't exist when considering applications for sensitive areas like the Norfolk Broads and the Lake District. That's fantastic. And let's not forget the UK is already one of the worst countries for water quality in Europe. Environmentalists, however, say it'll lead to more phosphates, nitrates and sewage in rivers like this one in Suffolk. What effect will the removal of this regulation have on the biodiversity of rivers like this one? We're in one of the most nature depleted countries on earth and this is only going to make things worse. Well, on Wednesday, we have an opportunity to do something about it. We can actually stop this government ripping up water pollution rules if Labour peers join Baroness Jenny Jones and others in rejecting the government's amendments outright. It's a power that peers have when the government introduces late amendments that have not gone through the proper parliamentary process of scrutiny. Stopping this government allowing even more pollution into our waterways should be a no-brainer. And this is our chance to do it. When a government doesn't play by the rules, when it repeatedly shows itself willing to lie, break the rules and even the law whenever it suits its political agenda, you have to use every tool available to stop it. There's no point sinning around saying the government's Commons majority means this legislation will inevitably become law, because that's not the case. After a series of general election wins over many years, and 56% Conservative uh, MPs in the Commons, in the House of Lords, we only have about a third Conservative. So even after all these years, we don't have a majority in the House of so Lords. That's right. The Conservatives don't enjoy a majority in the House of Lords. So on Wednesday, please, Labour peers, do the right thing and block this government using Brexit to flush away our environmental standards. Let's put party politics aside and together send this government's attempt to undermine our environmental standards packing. And yes, if you do this, the government can bring the measures back in a separate bill if they insist. But this action could delay the changes to beyond the next general election. That's why it's so vital that the amendments are rejected entirely as only an outright rejection of the government's amendments will have any effect. So let's get this done. Let's send this government a message that we won't allow it to just flush away our environmental standards.